Right away, we have been able to grab data from our database, go ahead and add to our database. And I'm just going to come down to this form. So this form control over here is going to accept an unchanged listener. And also it's going to accept uh, for the form itself, sorry, and submit, which is going to accept a function called handle submit. And for the unchanged here, we have to grab the value from the event. Then we have to set a new tax e.target.value. So let's go ahead and create the, the function called handle submit. So I'm just going to create add to db const handle submit. And also I'm going to use uh, the hooks. So we have to make the use of the use state. Then inside the use state, we just have to define an empty variable. I think I have to import that manually. Then over here we have uh, the tax or Okay, sorry, new tax. Then you can set new tax over there. So this new tax is exactly what we are going to be using to set, sorry, to set the value that we get exactly from this unchanged handler to the new tax variable. So I don't know why we are getting that error. I think I didn't say unchanged. This is a function. That is going to set new tax either target dot value. Sometimes this kind of uh, confuses me. So let me save that, and I hope hopefully we shouldn't have an error because everything is working perfectly. But let's check our refresh, and everything is still working fine. So we wanted that so whenever you hit on the submit, we want to prevent that form from refreshing. So I'm just going to put E and just set that to any. Then inside here, we have to prevent defaults. Then we say, if it's not the new tax, just have to return an alert, please enter a new tax so let's go ahead and refresh before we insert to our database and uh, let's click on this and you can see automatically we are having that ability to allow to a user to insert a new tax then all we just have to do is to get a tax collection then just like the way we did on the links API from the min.ts over here. So we can just do that same thing over here. So all we just have to do, we don't even need to add an ID because MongoDB automatically creates an ID for us. We can just put down the created at the dates. Then I think, uh, yeah. Lastly, we can add a title to be the new tax. But I want to trim, maybe we have a white space at the at the ending or at the uh, beginning. We just want to trim that. And let's go ahead and refresh. And I'm going to add a second tax. And you can see automatically we are we are now able to add more tax than before. So we have been able to add tags and uh, the next thing I have to do right now is to add some couple of styling because we have to handle the delete tags as well as other things. But before we move ahead, we have to come over to this list group. There are some couple of parameters we have to add and uh, mind you, uh, we didn't actually fix that. Okay, don't worry, we are still going to come over to it, but we can pass, uh, we can grab more values here. 
and that has to be the completed which we didn't actually okay we actually have completed so okay yeah we have completed because i was thinking maybe we didn't add it so we have the completed uh we also have we are gonna have a function called on delete so let's go ahead and create delete that's the next thing we are going to do delete data from db I'm just going to create an on delete function. Let me just put an alert over here. But the delete is going to accept an ID, and the ID is a string. Deleted. So over here, we can pass the on delete. And that is it. Uh, also, we have on completed for the completed. Uh, I think for the uncompleted. Okay, for now, let's just allow it. Uh, maybe after this delete, we are going to come back to the uncompleted. So let's go over to the tax. I'm going to come over here. So we have the ID, the title, we have the completed. The completed is a Boolean. And also we have on the leads, which is a, going to be optional. But it's going to be a function. And also we have to get the uncompleted, which we are going to bring in shortly after this. Just like the on the leads. Same way, and that should solve it. Said here, we need to get the on deletes, and we also need to get the uncompleted. So we are done, and also we have to get the completed. And let me just go ahead and close this. So inside here, we are going to uh import i want to import from react bootstrap so from react bootstrap we are importing the list group uh and that should solve it we also imp we should import the button is there another thing no 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 so inside here we have to return the list group dot item so for this group of item, we put a span. Okay, let me just do it this way. We have the title. Then inside this here, we are going to bring a class name. So whenever we complete, we have to strike true. So this one is coming from the predefined CSS or else we just have an empty class. So we have the title and the list group and let's go ahead and save that. And let's kind of see what we have. says our application is crashing and that's because we are doing something wrong here yeah so over here i can put a key a key of id I can put a class name so for this class name we are going to be using a ternary operator inside our class name so i'm going to use backticks so inside here there are some couple of class name like completed. For the completed can will only be available when we double click on it. So let me just go ahead and put the group list item. I want to make everything flex and justify the content space between put the tags and align the items 
to the center. And let's go ahead and save that. And one more thing is to add the button. So we have the Dell button. Then inside here, we just have to give it a variant of danger. And I'll give it a size of small. Then we can add and on click listener to be on the leads. We can then pass our ID. So if you can recall from the app.ts, we are getting the ID because the ID is what we are going to be using to delete everything there. And this is completed, not complete. So on delete, which is actually correct. This VS Code uh, error is kind of confusing me. And let's refresh. And well, you can see right away, we have something that looks more presentable. And when I click on delete, we get the alert that says deleted. So this kind of looks more better and uh, kind of looks more good. And let's go back to the other TS. So I wonder whenever you click on this, on delete, all you just have to do is to delete the data from our database. And that is very simple. All we just can do is to get rid of, sorry, get hold of our collections. Then we can remove just that single ID. And let's save and uh, refresh. So I can just click on it and automatically it's going to delete our tax. And everything looks uh, very good. So let's go ahead and uh, add one more tax or two tax. And a second tax. So if you can observe, whenever we type, we still have our text retained. So that is very simple. We can just set new tax and set it to an empty string so that whenever we type and hit enter and it installs in our database, it automatically is going to clear the previous value for us. So right now, let's go ahead and uh, solve for the completed, which is also very simple, unlike uh, when we delete. So we are going to create an uncompleted function, which is going to accept the ID. So I'm just going to do this in a MongoDB way so that we can really get to uh, know a little bit about MongoDB. I can just use the structuring to from the find one. I just want to get whenever we get something from our ID or something from our collections using that single ID. I want to get I want to have uh, the ID which are, which is going to be returning from the tax. And I also want to have the completed value. So we can just say tax, we, because we have to make an update. So tax.update, we can then pass the single ID. After we find that ID, then we can set whatever I want to set. So if you can recall, we have completed and we can set it to what, uh, sorry what the completed is not. Maybe it is false, we just have to set it to true. Or if it is true, we have to set it to false. It all depends on the way you structured everything there. So that solves it for the uncompleted. So let's go ahead and make use of that uncompleted, which is actually very simple. So back in our tax over here, so the uncompleted can only work when we double click. And uh, before we do that, there is something we have to do here so that whenever we double click, we have to strike through the text. So what I can do here, you can see over here, we have the completed and the completed is actually coming from uh, our, yes, from our database. So over here, whenever we up, up, uh, update this, Automatically, it's going to change the value, just like I said. So we want to make use of that value as well and apply something like a background color to the 
single list generally. So the way you can do that is very simple using our curly braces. You can just simply say, once we have the completed to be true, it's going to apply a CSS class called completed. Else it's going to just leave it the way it is. And let's see if that, and um, we are going to make use of the completed right away. So we can say on double click. Then we can use the uncompleted function. And uh, if you can recall, we just have to pass the ID. So the ID we got from our tax list, that's exactly what we are making use of. And let's save that and go back here and refresh. So if everything works properly, once we double click on this, it should automatically update for us, but I think we didn't uh, really actually get it. So it says uncompleted is not a function. So that is very simple to solve. Uh, uncompleted is not a function. Let's go back to app.ts. We have the uncompleted over here. And that's because we didn't actually pass on completed function here. And let's go back and save and clear this and refresh. And let's double click and automatically you can see it says the value that is false to true. And uh, if you double click, it reverses the value. That's how we can actually uh, interpolate our value if I can uh, relate. So that's how we can use media to actually store data to the database, delete to the database and also update, that's a kind of update and delete. And we can add uh, maybe subscribe right now. So guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And this seems not to be working because we didn't actually set a value to what it should be. So for you to solve that, all you just have to do is to set a value to that new tax. And Whenever it refreshes, and we go back to add a new tax, and automatically it's going to create that, and the last tax happens to be at the top. Oh, dogs. So thank you guys for watching, and do make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button, and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.